Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me today. We are just gonna go over a few smart tips to get us ready for the Good News Project. Um, I'm so excited for this and it is such a blessing to have you here, to have you join me on this journey. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Okay, now let's get down to the tips. Oh, and by the way, you can download this down below in the description. There will be a link so that you can get this and just have it on hand just in case I go too fast. Alrighty, let's get started. Number one, measure twice and cut once instead of measuring once and cussing twice. Honestly, it is so easy to make a cutting mistake. There are several things that you can do to help eliminate the mistake, such as adding these translucent tabs to the correct spot or adding tape. Um, that washi tape, that has a lot of fun little designs and it comes off very easily. Just figure out what method works best for you and then hopefully that will help to eliminate some mistakes. Secondly, I am a huge proponent of pinning. Absolutely. I think that it helps to keep me from just not sewing well. I, I know that this is a very polarizing topic, but this is my suggestion. So find some pins that work really well for you. There are so many on the market. Choose your favorite and just at least have them on standby. Tip number three, test your scant quarter inch seam allowance for accuracy. If you are not familiar with exactly what a scant quarter of an inch is versus a regular quarter of an inch, I am going to list a really great little article and tutorial on how to figure that out and understanding what it means. It is by Brittany from Lo and Behold Stitchery. You can find that link down below. I just can't tell you how important this is for accuracy in all quilts. So take some time before we start the project and figure out exactly on your machine where that scant quarter of an inch lies. Fourthly, read the instructions more than once. We will be taking this project very slowly so you will have plenty of time to make sure that you understand exactly what to do. Just take a time, read it, read it again, and even if you need to, read it a third time. Just make sure that you know what you're doing before you start because you don't want to think that you know what you're doing and then go ahead and then realize later that you made a mistake. So take time to read those instructions. And finally, feel free to gather up a stack of leaders and enders, starters and stoppers, whatever you choose to call them. If you're not familiar with them, Bonnie Hunter has a great article about what they are, what they can be used for. If you've noticed in any of my previous videos, I am working on a postage stamp quilt for my husband and so that is what these are for and I'm going to have them stacked up ready to go for this project so that I'm doing more than one thing at a time without having to give it too much thought. So it's always nice to be extra productive when you get a chance. And that is it for the smart tips that I have for you. I do hope that I will see you on Labor Day for Clue 1. And until then, I hope you're cozy in your jammies.